Hello, my beautiful Cancers. Welcome to my channel. This is your favorite fortune teller, Divine Light. Today, I'm going to do a coffee cup reading for the next four weeks. Uh, this is going to be actually coming up to June. So you can take it as a June reading. Due to the general nature of this reading, please take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't for the others. If you're enjoying these videos, don't forget to give them a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of these, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. It's free and you can unsubscribe anytime you want, but it helps my channel a lot and I truly appreciate it. All right, guys, let's get into your reading and let's see what's coming your way, okay? Before I want to mention, before I start, I just pulled these two cards. This is from uh, Rumi Oracle Cards. Um from Alana Fairchild and um, these are like a, a licensed translation Turkish versions but the cards, are, the artworks are the same so the two of them as actually the message was the same for you so I wanted to share it from nothing to everything uh, red uh, wild red mother's passion that's what they say the number 16 here number 36 here I don't know if this means anything maybe just when you just uh, take um, you know uh, multiply them or you know subtract them it's just 20 maybe that means anything to you but both of the messages are the same both of them are telling you it is time to let go of uh whatever is not serving you okay whatever is like on this one is like the clear 100 percent something is bothering you something is not serving you and there's a pyramid here and like uh it just represents this higher energy and this universe you can see the lights and the north star um i think it's just this is telling you it's time to let go of something that doesn't serve you and from nothing to everything so become no one that's actually like the main um message of the rumi and sufism what they say is like whatever that you are uh, the clothing that you're putting on the clothing indicates your personality uh, the, the environment that you grow up and shaped you made you who you are today and not maybe this is actually making you stuck where you are it is time to let it go that's the message of this card and the second one is actually let go of what's not serving you and surrender your gifts and your desires to this holy mother the passionate energy of the mother which is the mother earth the earthy energy the feminine energy so you can give your troubles to it whatever is just bothering you so you can't just resolve it with this fire burn it and resolve it for you okay take it off of resonance if this means anything to you you know you can just take it all right let's get into your reading and let's see what's coming for you for this four, next four weeks there is a full moon in the bottom of your cup i think aquarius had the same thing if you have aquarius on your chart i recommend uh, go ahead and watch that one maybe you'll get some receive some uh insight from that one as well and the full moon maybe indicates that you're going to be manifesting something during the full moon or if you have like an issue that is not being resolved uh, that is going to be resolved and a full moon also pure because uh it's illuminated by sun which is a star uh is made out of pure starlight uh like um, illuminated by starlight mm, it's telling me if you have a desire an intention or like something in your mind that is bugging you and bothering you maybe around the full moon it's going to be resolving okay star is the card of manifestation and moon is illuminated by the starlight so you're manifesting something but i feel like because moon is a darker side moon is a darker energy uh which is your actually planet so this is going to be something maybe about family uh, home is going to be resolving for you okay in this in this um month let us see within the first week i see here two different like there are three people actually just putting their heads together and discussing an issue but in the beginning of the month i see like here the first week there's a v here as in maybe someone named victor or victoria is showing up in your life or this can be a victory that you're going to be having but whatever this is it's not really illuminating whatever is happening maybe inside your house in your side your heart but i see you're here right here riding a horse right there so like there's going to be a wish fulfillment uh there is actually you are you have a goal you have um something that you want to accomplish you're gonna get the chance get on this horse and just you're gonna start galloping towards it you're just gonna have to 
uh, but you're actually going backwards to, 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 let me tell you the truth because you have this goal you see the world is in your mind you have a lot of things happening in your mind but you're just going backwards maybe uh, you're thinking in a backwards fashion maybe there are easier way to manifest what you want but you're just um, your horse is heading the other way okay so let's see within the first week there is a gathering here coming together with these people and i see two balls here okay two balls coming together uh, like two balls actually in this deck cups oh my god this is the wishful moment right away nine of cups the cups are symbolized by um balls okay and two cups actually indicates the two of cups which is uh telling me maybe new love showing up for you new love coming like these cups actually i feel like these two here looks like these cups so there's going to be some wish fulfillment for sure emotional fulfillment and the two of cups actually indicates finding a soulmate someone compatible with you something is going to give you a lot of joy uh, romance might be happening for you if you're not looking for it can be a um, partnership a friendship that is actually going to like form maybe this crowd you're going to get inside a crowd maybe you're just going to attend a meeting or something like that maybe a concert or um seminar something like that you're going to find three people here but maybe there's a paper written between you guys can be like a learning experience for you and you're meeting with this um, cup uh, there are double cups under you guys energy here so i feel like this is probably um like a match made in heaven doesn't have to be like i said romantic can be a friendship also or maybe like um you're getting together with a family member or someone from the past that you're actually going to be connecting um in the same level okay right after that i see a path opening here there's a male figure right there his face is not his face is on his chest so it can be someone very honest maybe a little blunt uh, has a very good aura not ha doesn't have bad intentions but can be someone a little bit blunt sometimes can be hurtful uh, with their truth but the truth is they don't really wish anything bad for you and they are standing uh, like maybe you're just gonna travel somewhere you're planning to travel and leave this person behind or maybe just quit where you're living and your just job is but this person is just gonna block your way they're just gonna not let you go it's not about blocking and i see huge heart here this heart can be something romantic that they're feeling towards you let me tell you the truth or they are very attached to you so they're gonna try to block your way but no matter what i see you're taking a break this is gonna be the second week the third week you're taking this huge break okay can be like a vacation or even like maybe staying home not doing anything and taking care of yourself doesn't if you don't have such opportunity it can be something that you're just gonna be maybe uh clearing your mind at a point that nothing is going to bother you for this whole week okay no matter what happens you're not going to be actually uh, taking that into account you're just going to be living your life enjoying yourself which is actually if you watch abraham hicks or bashar or any of the manifestation people they're talking about when you feel joy when you feel happiness you attract more of it uh, that's how the universe works and i feel like you're going to start attracting a lot of greatness into your life right after this like the pause that you have okay within the third week and towards the third week i see you here you have this huge um feather on top of your head this reminds me of those roman soldiers that in their uniforms and their helmets they have this huge red um feathers on top of their head which actually um very like you know first of all fire color um fire energy so can be actually you uh just uh, bringing your fire out maybe expressing yourself in a way that is actually very um visible that you're gonna be showing off yourself or maybe somebody else is with the fire energy aries leo sagittarius showing up in your life and uh, they're gonna be um they actually carry right here they this person has like another person's silhouette on their like uh cloak here so this person might be someone who adores you and worships you and you have another admirer here also like you're gonna have a lot of admirers throughout this period and this also turns into like a dragon so whoever this person is uh either if it, this is you dragon symbolize gold 
uh, money and wealth either you're gonna be gaining this wealth because it's just the head of the dragon neck of the dragon not the whole body i'm just gonna say can be an idea an opinion or maybe a situation that you're just gonna be stepping into this wealth or can be this person if this is somebody else not you this person is actually going to be stepping into this huge wealth okay uh, slowly but surely uh, but they are going to be showing up in your life and they're going to be the main attraction and very adored you can see someone is like clapping on the bottom they're just being adored and um you know also appreciated towards the end of the third week i see here a white paper and there's a path opening maybe you're just going to be traveling somewhere to meet this person and i see two lovebirds kissing right here in the th fourth week um like i said i see the cups maybe a soulmate connection coming in if you're not manifesting love can be something that you're going to be actually loving and adoring showing up in your life there's a white paper here if you have like a contract in your mind if you want to sign a new contract change your apartment get a new lease start a company that's a contract marriage is a contract uh, like i said i saw couples here but it doesn't have to be um, some legal issue is going to be resolving on your behalf and you're just going to be manifesting this uh, party right after it i see like you're sending out invitations there are like birds here you're sending out invitations and there's a party happening right after that can be like a maybe if you're an event planner maybe you're going to plan this beautiful marriage of maybe this very wealthy people uh with that you're going to get a lot of recognition with what you do and uh, you can take it how it resonates i also see here in between them i think this is a symbol of clubs like the heart upside down heart and with the the what do you call it the it has like a handle uh, i think clubs as far as i remember symbolize um the air signs okay i think they symbolize the air signs and um there can be like these people can be like air signs coming together um, which are gemini um gemini aquarius and libra or it can be like a justice moment happening for you because libra has that energy and uh also like uh they like libra indicates like legal things and i told you marriage is a contract because it's showing under this lovebirds they're kissing so it can be like a like a commitment coming for you okay it doesn't have to be like i said um um uh, something like about love but can be keep that in mind uh i see two different mountains here there's a person just riding a horse and uh, maybe there's a person who's actually um up on their horse coming towards you they're just passing through mountains maybe they have obstacles this might even be you have a goal that will give you emotional fulfillment that we're seeing with this lovebirds but you need to get over just two different mountains maybe two there are two obstacles on your way that you need to you know get on the horse and take the wheel and just jump and but the fourth week i see here you're gonna have this power and strength and you're gonna start doing this uh, like getting on the horse again but the horse is now uh go looking through the right side okay and right after that there's another white paper so also this looks like a w so this is telling me there's going to be like back to back to back legal accomplishments and enjoying your time and your play like you see balls or two people playing ball maybe you have a partner that you're going to be passing things in between you guys um accomplish something with them and you're going to be celebrating this uh accomplishment together all right, guys, I'm going to get into your plate now. If you have a question, a desire, an intention, just hold it in your mind. And let's see what the answer is going to be for that one. Definitely new horizon here. And uh, I see like a in your heart, you have like a chunk of money. Like you are manifesting some money maybe. But it still has some time. And your desire has some time too, Okay. Whatever you have in your heart, it uh, actually needs to build up. And I see you here. You're actually balancing things out. You have two people in your hands. So it can be like in, in a job situation. Like, yeah, your desire just needs to need some time. Okay, it just needs some time. I see letter H here. H as in Harry or Harriet. And also I see like a heels. 
can be indication of you getting into becoming a part of like a getting going to a party that is going to be like a protocol place and i see someone here this person there's a male figure looks like here this looks like this person is in your heart and um they're actually they have another male person they're talking to can be um you know a competition that you have maybe th that can be that or um there is a secretive situation because they're having like some sort of a gossip can be in the workplace there are two people working be, uh, about like talking about you um or maybe like um planning a party for you uh, but the new horizon is here i see one two three different people coming towards you that you're going to be meeting with these people and you're here cloaked towards the fourth week i saw like a wedding party or something like that maybe you're going to be the main attractions party and you also looks like a star here look like a star so if you're in music maybe you're just going to take stage or you're going to be the main thing in this wedding um or the party like I said, there's another letter H here. So this can be like a small H. This can be in the first name or the last name of the person that you have in your mind. Or maybe the situation or the place that you're going to be traveling to. Okay. Like I said, this is a chunk of money. And this is connected to you. But the, towards the fourth week, that whatever this action that you're going to be doing. Maybe the place that you're going to be attending. Over there, you're going to be handed this uh, thing, this chunk of money. All right, guys, that's all for today. Hope you enjoy your reading. If you do, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of these, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I wish you all a magical day. Bye.